All right, guys, we're back for another Raid Shadow Legends video. So this is Ali Plays, and today we're going to be doing an in-depth guy slash review. I don't think we've done one of these in a long time. I think the last one we did was Molly Tankard, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to be doing Augrin Jailer. So as always, we're going to be going over the skills, artifacts, and masteries. And then we're going to be reviewing the champion. And we're going to be running him in uh, some areas of the game that he excels at. So let's get right into it. So Augrin Jailer. So Augrin Jailer came out. Uh, the same time as Reliquary Tender, but everybody was <laughs> everybody was uh, keeping their eyes on her. But for me, I actually, when I first saw his kit, I was like, yeah, I gotta work on this guy when I get him. So I was actually aiming to get this champion, and I did, and I have worked on him. I got him to level 50. So I would recommend only keeping him at level 50, and we'll go over that later. So he's part of the Augren Tribes faction. He looks exactly like a Cult Brawler, except he's not as good, but he does have his uses. So that's why we're going to be discussing him. And he's in a rare, he's a rare attack type champion, so it's easy to get his skills leveled up. So his first ability is called Lockdown. He attacks one enemy and he has a 40% chance of removing one random buff from the target. So the reason why I, I'm working on this guy is so I can use him in uh, Spirit and Magic Keep. And also he has Confiscate, so he attacks one enemy and he has a 40% chance of stealing two random buffs from the target and then he places an extra hit if any buff is stolen. So this is basically a double hit if he steals a buff. And then he, when he steals it, he actually places it on himself. So that is very good. So we can steal that big shield from the magic keep. Uh, reprisal, he attacks one enemy and damage increases by 20% if the target has no active buffs. So he synergizes with himself and his aura skill is pretty small. Increases ally accuracy in dungeons by 20. So he was basically deci designed uh, to be used in dungeons. So let's take a look at his artifacts. So I'm running him trying to get as much accuracy as I can so that I can remove uh, debuffs from his basic with his basic and his a2 so i'm running two accuracy sets uh two speed sets because i want him to be fast i want him to hit i want him to hit decent you know i don't want him to just be stealing buffs so he's got to do some damage so i did use some cruel sets on him so with the augurn jailer the substats you're looking for are speed hp and accuracy those are the main substats you can get some attack percentage uh crit rate and crit damage those are just bonuses to make him do more damage but um, I think his primary role is to remove the, the buffs from the enemy. So he needs to be fast. He needs to be accurate. So as you can see, I got 10 accuracy, get 10 speed. Um, everything, attack percentage is just a bonus. We got um, accuracy here, HP percentage, and speed. I don't know the attack percentage primary on the gauntlet. But if you find that he's not surviving enough, you can switch it to HP percentage. But I think he, is, he does a pretty good job of surviving, especially if you have support on your team as such as apothecary we want the accuracy chest because we want to get accuracy as high as we can so we got 70 accuracy from here we got nine percent crit rate uh nine speed five percent defense and of course we're going to go with the speed primary boot so these are only plus 12 right now so his speed is not that high let's move on to the accessories so we got the ring we're using an attack primary ring with attack percentage and hp percentage as substats and crit damage primary on the amulet i would recommend going for that and we got some accuracy here and we rolled attack twice and of course for the banner so if you want to take him to six star uh, which i don't recommend unless you really need to complete um, the magic keep and the spirit keep much easier i would do that so you can get this banner and get accuracy as a primary and get some speed on the secondaries so let's look at the total stats so his health points 15,698 so that is pretty low 2,181 attack again that is pretty low that's not his role for in, in my opinion Speed is 168, that could be higher, but I have a speed booster. Crit damage 99%. Uh, debuff accuracy is 194. I wanted to get 200, but we couldn't do it unless I take him to 6 star and get this accuracy banner. So that's a review of Jailer before we go over his masteries. So Magic Keep, I'm going to give him a 5. Campaign locations. Uh, I'm going to give him a 2. He's not that good at campaign locations. I think his ratings are kind of too high. Arena, he does he doesn't do too much damage. Maybe if you build him as a damage dealer, he might, but he is a single target champion. And the meta and arena is all AoEs or uh, things like that. But he is capable of removing buffs such as the pesky skull crown buff, one where she can die. Or um yeah, there's basically unkillable buffs. He's able to remove those, maybe counterattack as well, place it on himself. Uh, we'll test him out on arena, why not? We can test him out. So we're going to give him a three for now for arena offense. Defense, the same thing. Spirit keep, I'm going to give him a five. 
Minotaur's Labyrinth, he wasn't very good. There's no reason to even use uh, him in Minotaur's Labyrinth. So let's give him a two. Void Keep, he doesn't, he can't remove any buffs from there. So we'll just give him a two because he's capable of doing damage. Same with Force Keep. Ice Golem's Peak, <laughs> give him a two. Dragon's Lair, give him a two. He can't remove any buffs from there. Uh, Fire Knight, he's he's pretty much useless there. Spider's Den, same thing. He's useless. And Clan Boss, he is useless. So yeah, as again, I said, as I said, this guy is a specialist. So he does have his uses in Arena, kind of. If he needs somebody to remove buffs, and he's very good in Magic and Spirit Keep. So we're gonna submit these raids. Let's look at the recommended artifacts. So I would not follow this at all. <laughs> so I'm not even gonna discuss that. I'm just gonna submit it. So his masteries are not completed, but I do have a raid bro mastery list. You guys can check in the, uh, in the description. So I went from the for the offense and support tree. So of course for the support tree, I'm going for the accuracy and getting lore of steel. So I try to use basic sets. I using I'm using accuracy, and I am also using speed. But the cruel set does not work for that. But that's okay. Then you're gonna go for evil eye, decrease targets to meter, but when the champion hits them, the default skill for the first time. That is the only useful thing from here. And we're gonna go for the last one. Uh, these two do not benefit him. So Master Hexer and Sniper do not benefit him. So you're gonna go for Spirit Haste. Increase his speed by eight for each dead ally, so that's up to 24. So this actually will benefit him a bit. So that's why we're going for that. The other ones have no benefit towards him. And then we're gonna move all the way down to here. So we're gonna go for Bring It Down. And then we're gonna go for methodical to reach uh, war master so i believe that he would be good with war master if you guys want to take him to level 66 star but i would not recommend it at this point of the game but he is capable of helping you um, with your clear times and magic and spirit keep okay so we're gonna go against a team that has a skull crown because i want to see if i can take away that buff so no skull crown here so we're gonna go for this team because i know that uh skull crusher is capable of placing buffs <laughs> Wait till you see oh i didn't even put him in <laughs> no 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 <laughs> yeah we're gonna have to uh, retreat this battle it's okay so they actually do have some buffs now so that's okay So we can try to see if we can take some away. So we're not gonna try to steal it. Actually, I, maybe I want to steal the shield. I actually want to do it. So I'm gonna go for Tyrell, try to steal that shield. So I just steal it, and then I got that shield on top of mine. It would be interesting with him with a counter, and then when they attack him, he just takes away all their all their buffs. That'd be interesting. So she's also capable of removing some of the buffs. There we go. Yeah, that's weird, dude. Tyrell buff got removed, but he still countered. Uh, I think Plarium's got to look into that. Like, I know he had it at the time when she used it, but if it goes away, you shouldn't be able to counter. Alright, so... If somebody has no, buff, no active buffs, he does more damage, right? So we're going to try that. Tyrell's not a good choice because he has high defense. Oh... <laughs> This is cool. We're probably gonna lose, but I'm just trying to showcase uh, Algren Jailer. Oh, okay, I can bring him back. Uh, smart enough to bring Arbiter back so she can bring everybody else back. There we go. Oh, right, so let's try to remove some buffs. Uh, we'll try to remove something from him. Did not work. So yeah, he's not very good in arena, but he does, he is capable of doing something. So he does have a role. <laughs> the brass is healing everybody. This is a pretty long arena fight, man. These days. Usually I just, I just wipe a team real quick. Alright, go after him. Alright, let's try to steal from Sir Nicholas. No, it did not work. 
Okay. Oh, we are one turn away from winning. Not winning, but staying alive. So yeah, he is not very, very good in um, in arena, but you can see if he does have his uses. We find like a skull crown team. But that team had way too many debuffs for him to do. Uh, too many buffs for him to deal with by himself. So we're gonna throw him into magic keep. We're gonna go stage 15 magic keep. This is the team I am running, so I'm using these two to take down her buffs. Arbiter speed boost. And I'm using Royal Guard to do some damage. And Lenoril, she's there for the first two waves as well as uh, applying some debuffs on her. So let's see how much damage she's able to do here. So 25k damage, that's not too bad on a stage 15 dungeon. So I think he does have potential to do a lot of damage if people build him as such, but I did not do that. All right, so we made it. So let's slow this down. So he does have a, she does have a shield up right now. So we're gonna reduce that with Arbor, did not work. So let's try to take it. Did not work. I don't even know if it's even possible right now. All right, let's try to steal it. Okay, he stole it. Now he's got a crazy shield. <laughs> I should have waited though. I just love seeing that shield, man. So we can throw it on auto now. Let's see if we can take away one of them. So we take away the speed up. Rosin actually removed one too. So he is actually such a beast for this because he's able to steal a shield. So he can probably, he can possibly solo this if he's level 60, I think. But the first two waves might be an issue for him. But let's say you bring, your allies all die. This guy will uh, increase his speed because of the mastery that I put on him. Well, I would put on him. When your allies die, he gets more speed. So if these guys all die, whoa, 47,000 damage. Well, it has weakened and decreased defense as well. So he'd be going faster if that happened. So my best time is 2.11. So we're going to replay this again. All on auto. So I'm not going to control anything. So yeah, he is a specialist. I actually really uh, like his kit for these type of dungeons. So for me, I feel like he was worth uh, to take him to five stars. But I'm not sure about six stars just yet. Because he's already doing his job very well right now. Maybe if they release uh, stage 20 of these type of dungeons of Spirit and Magic Keep, he will uh, be one of those champions that everybody brings up to level 60. He has removed it already. If, you, if this is your first time watching uh, me do Racial Legends content, if you're interested in the game, and if you want to play it on PC, you guys can go down in the description. There's a link. If you use that link, it helps support the channel. And I greatly appreciate it. So you guys can use that. You can play it on Blue Stacks just like how I am, or you can use Play and Play. But if you guys want to help out the channel, that's the link that helps out the channel. And also, I'm doing another uh, game that's called Dragon Champions. I'm having a really good time with that. A lot of people from Ray Shadow Legends are actually playing that game at the same time. And a lot of the content creators from uh, Ray Shadow Legends are also doing Dragon Champions videos, such as myself. Oh, we got Stu, we got Darth Micro there as well. Yeah, so if you guys also want to play Dragon Champions, if you guys use the link in the description for that game as well, um, it helps out the channel. And again, I greatly appreciate it. So yeah, look at this, man. <laughs> that is crazy.
Yeah, so he is a specialist again. So I won't I wouldn't think that he sucks. He just specializes in one thing and he does a very, very good job at it. So that's his strength. He has a lot of weaknesses, but his strength is very, very good. So we're not gonna be running him anywhere else. Uh, because again, his strength is the dungeon spirit and magic keep. And if you want to use him in arena, if you have a team that is um, better suited for him, he would be good in that role as a as a buff remover. And I feel like he might be okay in faction wars to remove buffs if there's are are unkillable or things like that uh, with the Ogren tribes. So if somebody has is there on your team that can taunt for him, then he might be able to uh, remove the buffs from them and steal them, things like that. So he might be pretty good for that as well. So that's it for the video. If you guys found this video helpful or entertaining in any way, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you guys want to help with the channel, again, links in the description. And I also have Patreon if you guys want to help me out with that. And if you guys are new to the channel and like what you see, then uh, consider subscribing. I make Great Channel Legends and Dragon Champions content almost every single day. And while you're at it, you can enable notifications so that YouTube know you want to stay up to date on all my latest content. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.